a company which is disappointed on its margins, and that's Sarah Sanitary Aware. Mr. Vikram Somani, the CMD of the company, joins in now. Um, good afternoon, and thanks for joining in. First, could you explain uh, the margins? It's come in lower than street expectations. What, what was the reason for the margin performance and the decline that we've seen? Well, the main reason is that uh, there's been a lack of demand for the products. There's a general recession. And uh, apart from that, since the past 18 months, despite uh, rising costs, we've not increased our prices. So we are taking a price increase from uh, 1st of December. That will partly offset it. And we think that the market and should improve after Diwali. So, but in spite of uh, the recessionary conditions, uh, for the half year, we've had a top line growth of 16% and uh, bottom line growth of also 14.17%. So the, under the conditions, uh, that was the best we could do. But we hope uh, in the coming six months with a price increase and uh, we are concentrating more on faucets where the margins are better. I think we should, uh, we are trying to have an overall growth of 20%. So we hope to achieve that for the year. All right, uh, Mrs. Swani, you earlier said that there is no demand pickup. So now, will, after the price hike that you propose to take, will you see a demand pickup going forward? Considering you have given us a guidance of 18 to 20 percent, and now that the first half has grown at just 16 percent, and with the price uh, hike coming in, do you expect to uh, expect the demand to take go so high that you can actually take 20 percent? Well, our competitors have already announced a price rise. And we've not done till now, so uh, we hope uh, uh, there's a good demand. That is why we've also uh, announced a price increase, and it will be effective from December. Our competitors have already announced, so I think uh, everyone hopes that there will be a demand for our products. Apart from that, we have uh, uh, faucet where sales have gone up by over 50 percent. Margins are better, and. Uh, plant is capable of making almost 8,000 pieces a day. We are reaching the optimum levels. Apart from that, uh, we are setting up a new JV for tiles. That will be operational in March. So in the near future, that will give us better margins. Okay. Because right now, all, that, all our tiles are outsourced and the margins are not adequate. So from next year, we'll have our own plant, JV plant, when we'll have a controlling stake and uh, 10,000 square meters per day will be produced. I think that will add up to our margins also. Okay. So what's the quantum of price increase which you've undertaken and therefore what will it do to your margins? Say in the next two quarters, uh, what would be the average margins that the company can enjoy? Well, we are uh, uh, anticipating uh, or rather we'll be uh, announcing a price increase of around 5%. Okay. So that will affect, uh, that will help our margins and we are concentrating more on faucet wares. Mm -hmm. That will give us a better margin. So I can't give the exact figures, but we are hoping to have a top line growth of around 20% for the whole year. All right. Uh, could you break up your revenue I in terms of uh, how much came in from the sanitary wear segment, how much came in from the faucet segment, and how much of it actually came in from the tiled segment as well? And what are your targets uh, in terms of proportion coming in from these three segments? Well, right now I don't have the exact figures I can't give you, but uh, sanitary wear is around, uh, we have an 8% growth in sanitary wear. I can't give the exact figures for the sanitary wear because sanitary wear, some is produced by us, some is imported from uh, China and other countries, some is outsourced from Morvi. So it's difficult to give the exact thing, but uh, Growth for this uh, uh, half year has been 8% in sanitary wear and around 60% in faucets. Okay. So you said that you're focusing a lot on faucet wear, but in our understanding, it's a low margin product, right? No, but uh, now we've increased prices. Our margins are uh, okay. reasonable in faucets. 
All right. Another thing, uh, Mr. Sumani, while you do anticipate a 20% growth in FY16, the company has been growing at a CAGR of about 37% in the last three years. So when do we see those levels of growth coming back, you know, 24, 25, 37% growth levels coming back? Well, uh, we hope things to, uh, once our tiles uh, production starts, we hope next year we'll be having better growths. And this year we have a, a, a rose of around 27.95 and our CAGR right now is around uh, 23. So we hope next year things will be better. Lost market share at all in sanitary wear or faucet wear and where does it currently stand at? No, we've gained market share in sanitary wear. Faucet wear also, our sales have increased. So our faucet... Uh, the uh, faucet share also our market share is increasing. All right. Additionally, you also plan to uh, set up an office in the Middle East or West Asia. What is the kind of revenue you're looking uh, at coming in from those regions? Well, actually, we have. Uh, it'll start sometime next year. So, because all the Middle East market is uh, fed through Dubai, so we'll have our own warehouse. We'll have an office. And uh, we hope to increase our exports from there. At right now, we can't give an exact amount because till we start operations, it's difficult to gauge how much uh, mm. sale will be done from there. But we hope a good portion of the Middle East or West Asia market will be able to cater to from the, our office and warehouse. Okay, sir. Appreciate you taking the time out and joining in and wish you all the best for the coming quarter. So that's the word from Sarah Sanitary. Sarah Sanitary Thank you. Got him.